As you can see, this stunning concrete fire feature brings warmth and style to any outdoor space. Today, I'll show you exactly how to design and build step-by-step step so you can have one of these for your centerpiece in your outdoor space. Welcome back to Timber West Design, where we explore everything related to timber and outdoor living. If you're thinking about adding a new pergola or a pavilion and you need some expert advice, head over to my website at timberwestdesign.com and you can get a free consultation. Let's work together to create the perfect outdoor space that fits your vision. I came across these cool gel fuel cans and I thought it'd be fun to make a fire feature using them. For any concrete project, the first step is creating a mold. But instead of making a boxy wood mold, let's design something with a little more flair. I want some curves to it, so we're gonna go to the computer. Let's design something fun. Let's go with a design that has a full radius on each end to give it a smooth, rounded look. To fit on the 3D printer, I'll need to split the mold into two parts that we can later bolt together. I'm really pleased with how this design turned out. Now let's send it to the printer and watch it come to life. Here's our 3D printer in action, building the mold layer by layer with incredible precision. This first half of the mold will take some time to complete, and once it's done, we'll start printing the second half to form the full mold for our concrete fire feature. Here are the molds that we 3D printed. I ran out of green, so we had to finish it off in blue, but it'll work the same. These are gonna look great. Now we're gonna bolt these two together. We'll flip it upside down, start putting bolts in here. The mold is now bolted together. I used the wrench to tighten it. I just snugged it up a little bit. This PLA from 3D printing is not super strong. It could easily crush. So you just want to just snug and the mold's ready to go. So I'm going to spray it with some Pam cooking spray, some canola oil. Just try to get it a little bit everywhere, but not, you don't want to puddle so that the mold will release when we fill it with concrete. I think that'll work. We're gonna cast this project using Rapid Set Cementol. This is really good for casting. I want a little bit of better flow, so there's this product they make called Flow Control, so I don't have to put as much water in it, and this will help the flow. And then I wanna retard the cure just a bit, so I'm gonna add this set control as well, so we have plenty of time to work it. The Cementol is ready to go. I have it mixed in four to one ratio, four parts Cementol to one part water. Let's start mixing. Here comes the big pour. Okay, so there are air bubbles in here and we're going to release them. I'm using a vibrator sander without sandpaper. And we'll just go around this thing and help work all the air out. So this part that is called flow control, its purpose is to get to a higher viscosity. You can add water, but if you add too much water, your concrete gets weak. You don't want that, but if you need good flow, you get some intricate details, you need some good flow, and you use this flow control, it helps in flow, but it doesn't weaken it. The set control just slows down the cure time, so we have more time for bubbles to work out. If it cures too fast, the bubbles can get trapped in there. And this way, we're giving just a little bit more time for the bubbles to work themselves out. And look at all those air bubbles, see how they're coming out. The concrete had 24 hours to cure. It's time to demold. So let's get all the rest of these bolts out of here. What I like to do is take a mallet, kind of tap. Just want to break this loose. Take a putty knife and put it in between the parting line. You're gonna see a seam on the concrete. Now, that's not a crack, that's just a parting line seam. So we do that. Then I like to kind of take the edge and tap it, break it loose, and here we go. And there's one half, and there is the other half. I'd say that turned out pretty dang good. A couple of ways you can color this would be you could put some pigment into the concrete itself or you can top coat it. I chose to use this top coat spray. It gives it a cool texture, nice color. I like top coating my concrete. 
Before you put the cans inside the fire feature, make sure to take the labels off. So we're gonna take, space these out like that. We're gonna take our fire glass and put it in between. Make sure it's all even. Let's light this and see how it looks. Very cool. I hope you enjoyed the design process. If you'd like to build this yourself, I'll put the 3D files in my show notes. If you have any questions about the process or would like to make any comments, let me know. And we'll see you next time.